Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome to part 6 of building the Open RC F1 where I follow Daniel's tutorials using my Lulzbot Mini. And step 6 was the biggest, the baddest, and the bloodiest step ever. It took a long time because printing each of these main pieces like the motor cover, the center lid, body, front nose and wing at least took three, five, six, seven hours a piece. So that required a lot of printing. And on top of that, each of these pieces, especially the motor cover, had a lot of pockets to insert tiny nuts in. And those holes all ended up being too small. So I had to use a Dremel tool to open those up. And even some of those pockets, I could never enlarge them up enlarging them enough to get the nuts in there and I was making huge caverns, huge holes trying to push the nuts in and I gave up and I just screwed it in but I think that's okay because there are so many screws on the bottom to hold everything in place that I think a couple missing nuts is alright. There's some blood up here in the nose because some of those pockets were so tight and I I end up uh, sacrificing a finger for that and the major screw had to be quite long to um, get into the nut and be able to be tightened. Here you can see I took off the wheel hubs a bit and just to reinforce uh, the video I made before these arms are very frictionless so they can be steered easily. Finally, there was a couple mirrors, vanes, and camera that were added, and those required a little bit of trimming um, using the Dremel tool as well. But that about wraps up uh, stage six. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. All right, see you in the next video, where hopefully we'll wrap it up by adding some wheels. See ya.